In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Megami device, Sitara Kanesha, Verkerwach, Kaf. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright boys and girls, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Megami device Satara Kinashaya Verkurwakoth A2 and uh, yeah, so what is this? Uh, Alice Gear Aegis. I know these are from a video game, but I'm not really familiar with it, though I have really, 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 really wanted to try uh, giving my hand at some frame arms. But I really wanted to take a look at some frame arm girls. So uh, yeah, here we are. So first off, let me say, if you end up getting this, you will kind of be shocked about heavy, how heavy the box is, because it is. It's really freaking heavy. And the way Koda Bikia does things, yep, I am not surprised. Taking a look at the side of the box over here, you have the different things that you can end up doing with her. You can keep her in regular pose. She has different faces. I believe she comes with a stand. She comes with all these effect parts. She's just pretty much awesome. Taking a look at the other side of the box, you've got the three different faces on here. You get a whole bunch of warnings. You actually get water slide decals. So without further ado, let's take a look at what's inside. So once you end up opening this, you will find that this thing is stuffed full of runners, like full, full, like there's no, there's no giving in here. So let's take a look. We get one pack, two pack, three pack, four pack, five packs, six packs, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You get an instruction booklet that's in a plastic bag. I, I, I swear to God, I've never seen that before. Oh wait, there's more in the box. You get the decals and you get this ad for Alice Gear Aegis. Yay. Oh, it's for the soundtrack. All right, let me strip these all out of the bags and then we'll take a look at everything. All right, boys and girls. So let me tell you, I'm kind of winded after unboxing and getting all those things open. But here we are with the instruction manual. I got it out of the plastic. It was very curious of coming in a plastic bag. Uh, I've never gotten, I've never gotten an instruction booklet in a plastic, sealed plastic bag like that. So. Kind of cool. Here you go on the front, page one and two. You get some poses, you get some information, all in Japanese, of course. Stuck in the middle, you get this, I'm assuming maybe it's a game card, iOS and Android. So maybe this is a QR code to be able to download it, but it looks like it expired as of 1031. Oh no, it expires 1031, 2020. You bastards can't have it, because it's not mine. You get a list for buying parts. Three and four is runner layout five and six last of the runner layout and then building of it looks like the head now i did kind of look over the parts and everything and it's kind of confusing just when you pull it out because it looks like you can build different bodies um, but i believe there's a base body and then you just switch out all the parts so yeah here's the head ball joints you get the chest part and then you can put on uh, the boobies the, everything else page seven and eight more building more building the chest parts, putting all of it. It looks like the way that they've ended up doing this, that this actually has a lot of mobility. I'm kind of curious, kind of curious. You get building of the arms. Nine and 10 is going to be just uh, building the legs, putting everything all together. Looks like swapping out parts as far as different hairs, putting on the Mimi ears, attaching on the stand, which it does come with. Not like Bandai, you don't have to buy it extra. So now it looks like we're switching out things, um, changing out parts for the head, the hair, changing out parts for the arms, building up the mechanical parts for the frame arms part or Megami parts. Pages 15 and 16, building more parts. 17 and 18, Putting all the parts together for the backpack and the arms and legs. Look at this big ass booster part. Changing out the base part so it'll be able to hold it up. Adjusting the parts on here. 
as far as the feet this uh or i'm not sure what that is extra arm weapon thing pages 18 pages 19 and 20 is building weapon parts putting them together and then you've got 21 over here which is a continuation but putting on the effect parts pages 22 is changing out the head parts it looks like just how to down here showing you how to do the water slide decals for the eyes um, but here's the thing this if i remember correctly and i will end up looking at but i'm pretty sure it already has the eyes attached unless there's even more uh, even more heads or faces all right and here we are on 23 and 24 is the color and decal guide so yeah you do get slides for the eyes and stuff but i swear so there must be more faces maybe because these already have the eyes and everything on them so they come with extra eyes maybe if these peel off I don't know so you get the color guides you get for your lining how to end up doing that you get her without any armaments you get some armaments on here you get the weapon and you get the back of the instruction manual all right here we are with runner a and this is going to be in a chocolate brown i know on camera it's coming out really dark like maybe almost a black but no nope, this is going to be in a dark brown here pieces looks like a part for the chest over here may this is probably for the head uh, you get a pipe thing here You get some ears runner B. This is going to be in a, a tan color and this is going to be a lot of body parts like arms legs Runner C. This is going to be in a flesh color and this looks like going to be um, Part for the chest you get some cleavage over here and I know in the camera It's coming out orangey and it is kind of orangey in person. Uh, I'm not really keen on that color um, looks like some booty cheeks right here you get some flash parts on here runner D is going to be in a deep navy color and I'm not sure what these parts are runner E is going to be in that tan again and it just looks like joint parts runner G is going to be in that same tan and I think this is for the hips and this is for the head runner H this is going to be in that same tan and these are going to be I think some of the wing parts but if I get the reflection on it, you can see all the panel lines and everything that's on there. Very cool, very detailed. Runner I, there's two of. And these are gonna be in a dark gray and these are gonna be all your pretty much internal frame parts. Runner J, you get two of. These are gonna be in that tan and again, you get a lot of panel lining, things like that. Just trying to catch the reflection on there. Runner K, you're gonna get this gold and it's um, it's pretty typical with Kodo and you really can't get away from it But they seem to do a better job than Bandai does as far as not having swirls in their metallics Runner L is going to be in a lighter gray and this is going to be parts for the gun and other miscellaneous little bits Runner M there's two of and these are going to be miscellaneous parts There's looks like some boosters on here some joint parts Runner N this is going to be in a clear green you get a blade and you get some other parts and I think a lot of these are going to be for the base but I'm not for sure. Runner O, same clear green, just seems to be more detail pieces and maybe parts for the base. Again, until I get in there I'm not sure. This looks to be a Jousian Spear type thing. So Runner P, these are going to be effect parts. There's two of them and these are going to be clear, clear effect parts. Runner Q, this is going to be a white runner and you get some little bits on here. We're almost there guys. Runner S, there's two of. Again, these are going to be probably for the frame, uh, for the armor parts. Lots of little blades and like wing parts. Runner V, you get two of. These are going to be other effect parts and these are in a clear purple. Runner Z, you're going to get one of and these are going to be a lot of ball joints. Now we're going to come to just, uh, some miscellaneous things. Um, this is a runner F and this is going to be your base and then your attaching points You get this one that there's not actually a letter on there But these are going to be parts for the base and this is once it's in armored form now these parts I have left in the baggies I think they're showing up pretty well. These are going to be um, Pretty much clothes options for her you get some booby parts You get some booty cover and you get some crotch cover you get a whole bunch of hand options as far as poses you get the three faces and like I said, these already have the eyes and details already on them. So I'm kind of curious why they include eyes unless it's made for if you want to completely repaint this over and put new eyes on. This other baggie is going to have gold and flesh color and this is going to be like her belly and her back and I'm going to assume these are probably for the arms over here. Last but not least is going to be the water slide decals. You have some kind of filigree elements on here. Um, you have these which is for the weapons and you have all these different eyes looking left, looking right, looking straight. 
um yeah so that's kind of cool and then you get the uh, Megami emblems down here all right boys and girls so i hope you enjoyed that if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because i think i have one more unboxing coming up and then we're going to start snapping some of these up and doing quick overviews on them i want to thank you guys for tuning in and hanging out with me uh, i'm kind of excited and curious of how this all ends up going together i've never done a frame arms i've never done a megami device so curiosity may very well kill the cat as you do youtube thanks for hanging out with me i will see you guys all in the next video peace out youtube